need you to get up off on the day. Give them a call at 4394. I don't know if we can even get down there, but we're gonna try yeah. now. Fulfill all I just want to see. Concerning you. you know, they're full. Look, it looks so cool though. Next ride! Woohoo! We're getting close. We're gonna go see. Well, they're not actually gonna blow anything up though. But it would be cool if they did while we were there. Let me watch it. Like, I just want to see if they have like a thing that we can look at to see where they blow things up. Like, do they just blow it up like out in the field or do they blow it up like it's a city? Did you know like those movies they have like the city that they blow up? Yeah, it's like a ghost town with all yeah. the crash dummies in there. I want to see what it looks like. Like, I think it'd be cool. Okay, we're going to just go as far as it'll let us go then. We are inquisitive today. We're going to go as far as we can. Yeah, we're going to go as close to the missile city as they'll let us. Look over there though. I feel like that's part of it. Maybe that's the stuff that they blow up. I'm just fascinated. Like, every person who has said anything has said that it's super cool. Entering active test range. Areas potentially contaminated. Stay on road. Do not disturb any items. That's always positive. Hmm. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. I just want to see how close that they'll actually let us get. I know. I'm curious at this point. What is this? Unregistered vehicles. Oh, we have to go to reception center. Okay. Cool. Hey, we're in New Mexico. For those who have been tagging along not knowing what we're doing. Um, there's a missile range here. <laughs> and we're not sure we're going to be able to get in. But we're trying to. We just want to see what it's all about because everybody's talked about it. And they said those big buy things over there where they shoot them off. So we're just trying to, oh wait, time out, attention, all visitors and unregistered vehicles, report to reception. Okay, so we're probably not going to get very far, because I'm pretty sure we have to be a visitor of somebody. Oh, Bravo. What is Bravo? Let's be. Condition B. In half a mile, make a U-turn at an... i off the camera right now, yes. so that they actually let us potentially yes. beg to get in. Yes, Emery Watson's missile range. Um, um... So yeah, we will let you know what happens and do more of this in a minute. But yeah, it's a checkpoint, so bye. Hello adventurers. So after all that, we got a background check and we got cleared. So we are going to go check in so we can go see the museum here at the uh, base. We've been given basic instructions, so we're gonna abide by those and make sure we do what we're told. And uh, yeah, it should be really interesting. So, lots of fun pictures and a little bit more blogging to come. Yay! We are inside the first part of the museum here at White Sands. And after you go through a brief history of the military, it also has a lot of different things that we used to use. It's super cool to look at all of the different things. And it's all very well organized and broken up into different times, different sections of the military, things like that. The crazy land that is Jedi. You can appreciate white sands. This was an actual Darth Vader helmet given to the white sand area for providing sound effects for the original Star Wars movies. So 
stepping into the second exhibit hall is the V2. This thing is huge. Like, so huge. Um, yeah. I don't have words for how big this thing really is, and it looks like a really mad bumblebee. one of the overlooks outside where you can actually see a lot of the different items that used to be used. They're all out here for display so you can see them. Inside you read a little bit more about them. There's also a pamphlet that tells a little bit more about the different items that were used as well. So you have to come out to White Sands and check this out. It is so cool. If you ever want to feel small, go stand next to some of our war heads. Just saying, some of these are 30, 40 feet long and way over a ton. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting to see what exactly we have that has been used to help us defend our country. And the drones here are super cool. Like anybody flying one of those little at-home drones, you don't know what a drone is until you see these. It's a little windy out here, but it's awesome. said she thinks somebody's actually following the adventure because the back of the car says follow the adventure oh no oh no <laughs> <laughs> 